My name's John Bagley. When I was four years old, a plane lit in the field by the house in Star Valley, Wyoming. And I've been in love with airplanes ever since. In the museum here, I fly everything that's here. And I enjoy them all. Every one of them is so different from each other that, you know, it, it's hard to pick out the favorite. Um, and I heard this from another pilot and he says, you know, my, my top three airplanes are the plane that I last flew, the plane I'm flying, and the next one I've, I'm going to fly. This museum is here to honor those people who fought in the wars from the Second World War, Korea, Vietnam, and the desert storms. And uh, that's what this museum is all about. And every time I fly these planes, uh, I feel like I'm flying a piece of history. Roland Wright was a Mormon boy from Blackfoot, Idaho. And he wrote John A. Widsow, who was one of the 12 apostles at the time, and said, could I name my plane the Mormon Mustang? Lieutenant Wright shot down three enemy aircraft, two ME-109s, and an ME-262. That's represented by the three flags that are on the side of the fuselage. The first one is a 262 jet, which you have to be very, very good to hit and lucky, and he admits that. He says, the guy run right into my bullets. <laughs> and he was just a great guy. He died about three years ago right now, and we took three Mustangs down to Salt Lake and flew a missing man for him over the cemetery when they were having his service. A missing man is when you have a formation. It's a fingertip formation, like this. And the missing man, you pull this guy out and you leave this slot open. It's like the plate at the table where nobody's sitting. If you're flying a three ship and you do a missing man, then this guy falls out. And the two planes come on through. Plane that flies out, he goes west, symbolizing, you know, he's going into the sunset, he's done. The loss is more apparent. And when you fly a missing man, it just pulls your heartstrings.